you not only secured your throne and sovereign rule, but also successfully defied the power of the Roman Empire. After suffering terrible punishment and humiliation at the hand of the Roman invaders, you rallied your people in a bloody and terrifying revolt. Legions fell under your chariot wheels, and the city of London burned. While in the end the Romans retained ownership of the Isles, you alone made Nero consider withdrawing all troops and leaving Britain forever. Oh, sleeping lioness, your people desire that you rise and lead them again in the calling that is your namesake. Will you meet their challenge on the open field and lead the Celts to everlasting victory? Will you restore your lands and build an empire to stand the test of time? Welcome, this is Imdog. This is Civilization V with the expansion of Brave New World. We are starting a brand new game here as the Celts. And uh, we're going to just get this started, go for a few minutes here. Um, I don't know how this will go. I've never played with Brave New World expansion, and I've only played Civ 5 a little bit, very little. 10 hours or so max, I'd say. Um, now, I did play Civ 4 some, and um, Civ 3 a little bit, but then if you go back to Civ two and one I played them a ton um, so I've always liked this series but I honestly just haven't made time for it as much in recent um, recent times all right so here we have a Celtic warrior and our settlers one thing I'm gonna have to do here I'm enjoying this music but it's a little loud All right. Now I want to say that the Celts have an advantage when there are trees nearby, which you know obviously we are in some trees here, but we are also near some a desert. So it's hard to say. And this is all we have explored. I mean, we haven't explored anything. So it's hard to say if we should go up, down, or around here. These early decisions are important. There's some planes. Let's go over there. Gems are down there. And see, all of these are planes and hills. This is going to be better than over here in the desert. Now with these guys, for now, let's just kind of... Alright, so it looks like we may have a river here. It looks like this river, or sorry, the it might have the ocean or something else. Okay, looks like we actually have to click on next turn. I think we're doing a standard size game. We want to move our warrior first because I really want to see what is right here. Okay, yep, we've got water. I think this would be a decent place to go ahead and call our home. We've got mountains over here that can be defense. We've got gems later in the game that could be valuable. I think this is going to be an okay place for go let's go ahead and do Edinburgh here. And the way the game is laid out now it's very easy to see what you need to do here. It sort of lays it out in a row. So the first thing we need to do is choose our production. I have some information that may be of use. Okay. So one possibility here would go ahead and be to build a monument. This is going to increase the city of the growth, the territory growth, and our ability to get social policies. 
Uh, it's a little risky. And there's stone right there as well, so I do think this could be a decent spot for our capital. Um, it's a little risky because you're not you're not doing anything for defense or you know protection. But we're going to go ahead and do monument here. We also can select something to research. Excuse me. So we're getting all of the basic um, basic tutorial messages. I'll tell you, this game looks amazing. Uh, I don't know if it really comes through on the video here, but the, the, these graphics are really good for, for this game. All right, so our choices here, and you see our science advisor says go mining, military says go animal husbandry, and economic says let's go technology, uh, get this technology, which is pottery. Pottery is going to allow us to do a granary to help with growth and a shrine which gives us some religious or faith value there. It leads to sailing, calendar, and writing. Granaries are important if our city starts to grow. <clears throat> Mine, mining obviously will be important for us eventually considering some of the things we have around us, but I think we're gonna take pottery here first. Some information that may be of use. All right, so this is something I believe is new for the Brave New World um, expansion of Civ 5 is faith. We've earned our first faith point. Faith can be used to found a pantheon to great, spawn great prophets, and once you have founded a religion, to buy missionaries, inquisitors, and religious buildings. Mouse over the faith icon in the top menu bar to see how much more faith you need for the next threshold. And I see I need to move this camera down. Let's try right here. We'll keep adjusting it until we find a spot that we feel good about. Uh, okay, so faith is right here. Plus one faith produced by cities. All right, let's see. What is a pantheon? First step towards founding a full religion. Pantheon belief you choose will be the basis for any later religion you might found, so choose wisely. The amount of faith it takes to found a Pantheon will increase with every Pantheon that has been found in the whole map. Okay. And then how do I found a religion? Once you have a great prophet and have founded a Pantheon, you can use the great prophet to found a full religion. Okay. What can I do with faith? Faith can be spent in several ways. Purchase religious units, buildings, or get expended to spawn a great profit, or once you enter enter industrial area, another great person. Faith you accumulate will automatically be spent on spawning a great profit once you've reached a certain threshold. Units or buildings. Okay. Thank you. Um... All right, so let's look at this map and just see. I think we want to move this way. And we're going to go this way and explore this way first. So we are in 39 or 3880 BC now. We only have one unit to move, so this will be some fairly fast early turns. All right, does look like we have reached. Nope, there we go. All right, ruins have been discovered, so we're gonna go check those ruins out. And we do see these mountains. We found the edge of the mountains. There's some wheat, but this is more desert, so we are in sort of a desert land here. Let's see what these ruins are going to give us. All right, so we got some advanced weapons, which um, we probably will go attack these barbarians with. One of your near combat units is near an enemy unit. 
Alright. We're gonna go over here. I have some information that may be of use. So another ancient ruins is right there. But first, I think we've got to take out these barbarians. We're showing a minor victory, so hopefully this will go well. We have succeeded. Very good. We did a lot more damage than we took. It may take two more turns, but we should be able to... Alright, so our city grew, which is great. And now let's go ahead and resolve the next the next battle here. I gave him even more damage. That's great. And we are one turn away from finding our shrine or building our shrine. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth, What makest thou? That is from Isaiah in the Bible. So we now can build a granary. And we already are building shrines, so that may have been a ability from the Celts, the um, people that we're playing. I'm not sure. We can promote this, so we can go heal instantly drill hills forest or jungle or shock no hills forest or jungle i'd say with where we are and, and given that we'll probably keep a good bit of forest around we're going to go with the rough terrain option here go ahead and defeat these guys that gives us 40 gold, which is great. And we also need to choose the next research. So we have writing. We have calendar. Sailing, which could be important for us. It allows for fishing boats. We don't know exactly what this continent looks like that we're on, but it could be smallish. Mining. I think we need to do mining, actually. Archery is good too for the uh, being able to do the archer, but we're going to do mining now. I have some information that may be of use. All right, so we're going to found a pantheon. There looks to be lots of choices here. All right, ancestor worship plus culture from shrines, dance of the aurora, faith from the tundra tiles without forest, desert folklore, faith from desert tiles, earth mother, faith for each copper, iron, and salt resource, faith healers, 30 hit point healed per turn if adjacent to a friendly city, faster growth rate, Fertility rights, God of Craftsmen. Production of cities with population of three. It's plus one production, God of the Open Sky. Plus culture from pastures. Plus worker production from fishing boats. God of War. God King. This is faith if you win battle within four tiles of your city. Palace provides plus one to these yields. Culture, faith, something, work, and science. What would that be? Gold? Yeah, gold. Festivals, wine and incense, incense, not incest. Boy, that's a different god, isn't it? Goddess of love, happiness from cities with population of six, protection, city connection. Gold and silver. Religious settlements. Boy, I might like that. 15% faster border growth. That's huge. Culture from jungle tiles. Cities on rivers. Faith from quarries. Food for each banana. I think we're going to do religious settlements. 
Yeah. I like that. Alright. So, it would be nice to get another settler. We could get a worker or a granary. That gives us a benefit to food. I think we're going to get a worker and then we'll do a settler. I have some information that may be of use. We may adopt a policy. I have some information that may be of use. So social policies that you develop. Give you different perks as you play the game. Culture is nice. Tradition would be nice since we already have something that's going with um, border expansion. Okay, this, this ideology seems to be something new. Um, if we were going to go culture, it might be nice to go aesthetic and liberty. But for right now, I think we're going to go for tradition. Now these guys need to heal, but I think we will get them back home first. Ivory, nice. Get them within our boundaries, the city boundaries here. And then we'll heal them. think they heal faster if you do it within your own territory. So we do get another policy here. Meritocracy plus 15% production when building wonders and plus one happiness for every 10 citizens. Free culture building in your first four cities. Alright, we'll do legal legalism. Boy, that doesn't sound good, does it? The city screen provides a detailed view of your city's growth and production. So we have one building. Uh, a monument. We also have the palace here. Alright, these guys are almost healed. The meat shall inherit the earth. 
but not its mineral rights. All right, now it may be time for archery or bronze working. Yeah, I might do bronze working. Let's do bronze working. And we can <clears throat> create what would seem to be a pretty strong unit. Alright, so now I think I would rather start by exploring down a little bit and then we'll work our way back up. The Mayans. He is neutral. So we don't really want to get too far from home here with these Mayan warriors going around. We will go one more. Here is something that may be helpful. Mount Fuji. All right. It'd be nice to get a city found down here. They seem to be staying out of our territory, so we will we will explore a little further. Yeah, this would be a really valuable place here. You've got Mount Fuji, you've got ivory, deer, the water is there. That could be really good. Could be a really good city location. Yeah, we'll do landed elite. A lake. Now we're getting down to the marshland. Not not really desert down here like there was up there. And there's more minerals. It may be worth Alright, here are some workers. So what we're gonna do with our workers is we're gonna have them automate. And we're just gonna trust the AI to do the right projects for us. And now we're going to build a settler. So that was a big win. Hopefully we don't get double attacked here. If we do, we're going to be trying to get out of here. Cities, like military units, can defend against attackers.
cities can bomb bomb. We got more barbarians up here. Cubits long in his hand. The bronze point gleamed in front of him and was so we found bronze working. I'm thinking we may just heal instance instantly. I don't know. This would be a minor victory. Maybe we'll make this our medic unit. Maybe we'll go drill two. Let's just go drill two. And let's see how much we can heal. Go animal husbandry. Really hoping they don't attack our workers here. These guys are healed enough. Might heal one more turn. Yeah. He wants to build an embassy in our capital. Sure. Why not? Ah. It's time to attack. All right, a little close. One more should do it. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox. Animal husbandry. The corn. Forty gold. All right. They want me to do arch archery, trapping or masonry so that's a circus construct a camp and it leads to horseback riding we're going archery So we cannot do these until we're in a different era. I think we're going culture now. I think we're going liberty. Liberty and tradition, I think, is what we're going to focus on for right now. Ooh, they're attacking back. Ooh, 
Oof, that was dangerous. All right. Only one military unit can occupy a tile at a time. So we built a settler. Pictish warrior. Seven turns. Faith. I think we're going Pictish warrior. Alright. This is where we're going. And we're going for it. We could run into barbarians and really be in trouble here, but we're going for it. That's awesome. Your settler is alone outside your borders and could be captured. The half of the arrow. Alright, I think we're gonna make it, so we're gonna keep going. Alright, we got archery. Now, two advisors are saying go the wheel. Foreign is saying masonry. I think I do like the wheel here, though. Looks like we're going to make it here and set up our next city. This is going to be great. Edinburgh can attack these guys again. We want to found a city. Dublin! Archer for defense. I think that's a good move. It'll take 20 turns, but it's alright. We need some defense. Take these guys out. <laughs> Run away. These guys are almost healed, which is great. Oh, they came back in range. Boom. Took them out. Alright, now we can start working on. Uh, I, think, I think we will do an archer, actually. Alright, we basically know what's that way. I think it's time to go this way with these guys. We're going to have our other unit movable very soon. Alright, so these are Celtic Pictish Warriors, and so are these. So they're the same thing. We've got two of the same units right now. Let's go kind of up over here. Looks like that's going to be the coastline. We might want to make sure, but... Looks like it is. These guys have got to be about healed. What is that? Iron. Very nice. So that might be another way to expand. Stone. There's some great, great areas around this land that we have settled in. We're in a golden age. Edinburgh demand, demands citrus. Do you see citrus anywhere, Edinburgh? Because I have not seen citrus. Looks like this is a border of a foreign land here. Wisdom and virtue. Alright, production time. Edinburgh built the archer, and it's up to a four. Granary gives us more food, more growth. Shrine. We're going to go granary. Research. We'll go trapping. Actually, we're going to go sailing, take care of the... Go ahead and get that taken care of. OK, 
Okay, this looks like land as well. You now have a ranged unit. And we are going to fortify. Awesome. City states are small countries that are not competing to win the game. You may interact with them diplomatically, or you may go to war with them. A city state has requested your assistance. Excuse me. So they are cultured, friendly. And they have silver. Two hundred and fifty gold. I don't think we're ready to do that. I don't think we're ready to do that. The Maya announced that they're protecting Bratislavia. Wow. Okay. We found... Okay, that's a barbarian camp. Okay, that's cool. That must be the barbarian camp they want us to destroy. We can do that. And we can get another policy. Plus one production every city. The improvement construction rate increased by 20%. And a worker appears near the capital. I think we might want all of these, but we'll go ahead and go this way first. Where is this barbarian camp? It's up there. Alright. Is it going to be easier to get there? It's actually going to be easier to get there from here, I think. Whoa, lots of barbarians. You know what? We're going to head. We can't go there. I think we're going to head this way. We're going to head that way with both. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful here. Let's we'll see if they attack or run. Very nice. Our treasury has grown, and we have money to spend. Alright, where are these barbarians? Right here. We are close to this empire, aren't we? Minor victory. We're going to swing these guys around. Choose production in Edinburgh. Caravan. We're going to go ahead and do caravan here.
minor victory. I think we go ahead and do it. All right, so we recreated an archer here. We'll go ahead and do a worker or a shrine. Let's do a shrine. These guys are gonna keep moving up. Archer needs to fortify. We now have an archer in both cities. He who commands the sea. Awesome. All right. We'll go shock one with these guys. Minor victory again. All right. I think writing. Science and foreign, economic and military says optics. Great lighthouse, lighthouse. Library, yeah, we want to do writing. Whoa, Nelly. Take them out. And take them out. Here is something that may be helpful. Alright, we're now friends with them. We will pledge to protect. Very nice. Okay, so. Let us take these. It is interesting to see. We seem to be on a pretty small land. Let's go ahead and get a lay of the land here, though. And take these guys to right about here. Let's go ahead and heal these guys up. All right, so we just finished a caravan. I think it's time to get a settler again. Caravan. So it's not giving us an option to trade to Tikal. My love king, and not the dead. Ha. Okay, so we can go to Dublin or get gold from Bratislava. Let's go to Dublin. That'll be our first trade route. Really kind of hoping we were going to be able to trade with the call, but it just didn't happen. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. <laughs> I like that. All right. Optics is what looks like they're asking for the most. That seems like a reasonable choice.
Let's finish the shrine. We could do a work boat since it's on the water. We could do a worker, a trireme. We could also start working on a wonder. I think we do a work boat and help. I think we do a work boat. And we're just trying to find out how far west this land goes. We're up to 516 gold, lots of gold. Alright, we want to go ahead and get this. This is going to help us get an extra settler. Okay, so we are cut off. This is the capital. Alright, so we could go settle near Bratislava. But I think more importantly, we settle here. Forest all around. Lots of resources. That's where we're going. We're going to have another settler very soon. It's not going to make them super happy. they'll be okay. Alright, so... I don't really know that we necessarily need to go anywhere else. Can we automa automatically explore? Alright, we could go around south of there. I guess let's do that. Using production, we just finished a settler again. Now let's go Great Wonder here. Great Library. Or Temple of Artemis. I think we go Great Library. Alright, so our best option is going to be right here. Now, can we speed up process here? Okay. Looks like we can't on a great wonder. Cardiff, get your archer going. Uh oh. Alright, there are more lands south of here. So it might be important for us to expand south when we can. We could be in trouble here. You made an instrument. Thanks to your research. He who knows others all of your is future wise. military units will possess the embark promotion and can move across the water. Alright. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we keep exploring here. And get your archer going. Research. Trapping. They're gonna just take this city. Maybe not. It's kind of opening up a little bit here down. Yeah, it really is. Archers over here, barbarians over here. Alright, so they would like for us to build Temple of Artemis. Very good. And these guys... Uh, of barbarians down there. Even brute beasts. I have some information that may be of use. All right, finished work boot boat. They have an archer. Let's get a library research. Let's get the calendar. It won't take long. Let's take out the. Uh, let's take out these guys first. All right. T took out them. I feel like I probably need to keep these guys sort of around here. Let's see where they go. How many more turns till this is done? Five. Yeah, I think that's still the right thing.
Who needs orders? Oh, these guys. How are we no longer friends with you? Neutral. Let's heal up. Well, if we can get that temple built, we'll be friends with them again, I think. I have some information that may be of use. sunshine all right great person found a religion I have some information that may be of use all right A lot of options here. I think I want to go with the World Wonder one. Card off finished archer. Okay, great. Um, yeah, let's get another worker. That makes sense. Fortify. Oh no. Oh, that is devastating. believe that so teach us to number our days so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom Alright, these guys are rough terrain. So that would be forests. So if they attack us back, we'll be in rough terrain there. close, but slight advantage for us.
little nervous about those barbarians down there. Yeah. This could be bad. They attack us again. We're in trouble. Whoa. Whoa. How happy. They may still be able to attack. All right, let's get construction going. If they are ranged, ranged, we're in trouble, trouble, trouble. Whew. Not out of the woods yet. Cool. Where is this? Way down there. We're going to take these guys out. They finished their archer. Ooh, lots of options. Alright, let's get... Let's get a water mill going. Dublin finished the library. Let's go pyramids. Let's start healing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's don't start healing just yet. Archer, okay, you need to fortify. Caravan. We're going to go to Bratislava this time. When we finish the Temple of Artemis, I think that'll be a good stopping point. Here is our warriors. They're headed to take out these this encampment. These guys can go ahead and heal, it looks like. Three things. 
You can upgrade obsolete units, turning them into more powerful. Two turns away from getting this Temple of Artemis done. Be able to go get that. Yes, it's not so much for its beauty, but the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts. As for that subtle self, the quality of air, that emanation. Go ahead and let's see. Do shock two and heal. Worker. Automate. Take out their ship. Cardiff has finished a worker. Let's get a shrine. Edinburgh finished the temple, so let's go with Stonehenge. All right, 18 from Temp Pyramids, 14 from Stonehenge. And let's take an overview of this of this map. This ended up being a pretty decent sized continent. Um, the Mayans only have two cities that we're aware of. We have two city states, Bratislava and Kula Lumpur, that are a part of this continent. We are friendly with both, though not actually friends with Bratislava yet. I don't know why. Our influence is going down, but it is. We're now friends with them. All right, so that's what this looks like. Um, I don't know if this has been an enjoyable video or not. It, it's been enjoyable to play. I have not played Civilization in a long time. And Brave New World, I think, from the little bits that I've seen so far of what Brave New World has added, it really feels like it completes aspects of the game that were a little weaker in base game of Civ V, the little bit I played of it. So I'm excited about this. Uh, let's go ahead and save this game. And uh, maybe we'll come back to it. As always, thanks for watching.